Okay, well, we're leaving Ruby Beach, Forks, Washington, and we were gonna be on our final push up to um, Cape Flattery, but we have heard by several people now that Cape Flattery is completely closed. Um, the reservation is just completely shut down, the whole upper peninsula. They actually have tribal police at the entrance turning people away so you cannot get up to Cape Flattery right now because of COVID. Um, kind of ironic we also couldn't get to our southern most southern destination because of COVID as well. So our trip was supposed to be the most southern tip um, to the most northern tip of the western uh, United States and we can't quite do that but what we can do is uh, go all the way up Highway 101. So since we've been on Highway 1 and 101, we're just gonna continue on 101 all the way to um, Port Townsend. Port Townsend. We're thinking tonight we're gonna end up somewhere near... Port Angeles. Port Angeles, that's right. Um, good job, Patrick. Good job remembering. <laughs> So we'll probably end up somewhere near Port Angeles, maybe somewhere up in the Olympic National Forest tonight. Um, and then tomorrow we will continue on 101 all the way into Port Townsend. And then um, we'll call that the end of this road trip. But um, I'm kind of bummed that we can't get to Cape Flattery. I really, really wanted to, to see that, that from the very tip of the continent. They say you can even see um, British Columbia from there, you know what I mean? It's like, ah, I wanted to see it, but it's okay. We're gonna keep going on 101 all the way to Port Townsend, and we're gonna say, we're calling this a success as soon as we get to that point. Um, thanks for watching. Um, we really appreciate it. We're so glad you guys have been able to watch, and we're happy to share it with you guys. It's been super fun. I mean, it's not over yet, so stay tuned. We'll keep going. Let's check this out. Look at this tank. This is cool. 
Pretty awesome. Look at that. That's for the rockets. Yeah. Wow. And look at where the guy the guy sat and steered. And then the other gunner guy was sitting on the other side over here. And he used to crank that big crank and it would lift the gun up or down. Wow. Can you imagine? I couldn't even imagine. My my imagination wouldn't won't even allow me to consider what that was like. Unbelievable. Wow. Just wandering around forks, checking stuff out. Look at this thing. This is awesome. This is like something you'd see in Hawaii. Oh yeah. Right on the on the beach, and they yeah, that's where they practice in. <laughs> yeah. Wow, this is cool. Clearly, there's a bird issue, but. Alright, well this is Forks, and uh, we are out of here. Yeah, buddy? Yeah. Alright, oh I gotta eat my, I gotta eat my whatchamacallit bar. Alright, well we're out of here. a tree up on the hill and days go by on your windowsill then you're standing in its shade raise your children tall and proud chase away the lightning clouds until you finally get old and gray we all fade away everybody we are at Lake Crescent Washington um, very close to Port Angeles I believe is where we're at and this is where we spent the evening last night I'll show you guys in a bad little spot right on this basically right on the side of the road look at this Voila. We have gotten so incredibly lucky on this trip. We have boondocked most of the nights. I'm sure I've said this a dozen times, but we've boondocked most of the nights. Only paid for lodging maybe seven times now. And uh, these are the types of places we've been finding. Just amazing. I'll tell you folks, if you just get out and do it, just get in your car, get in your truck, get in your van, be gone for a couple days, it is not scary at all. There is, there was not a single night we had a fear of thieves or, you know, 
violence or anything like that. Um, and for the most part, everybody has been really nice and, and sweet and we've had zero knocks at the door this whole entire trip nobody has ever knocked on the door we've never gotten a knock from the police saying hey you can't sleep here but we've always followed the, the parking signs if there's a sign that says no parking for overnight we don't do it um, but You'd be amazed at the number of places you can find where there is nothing posted. It's not private property. And um, to be honest, I think the police just have a lot more important things to be concerned about than a couple guys sleeping in their van on the side of the road that are clearly traveling. So this is, uh, like I said, Lake. Uh, I'm already forgetting. Lake Crescent. It was recommended by a friend on Facebook so we decided we would make this home for the night I guess there's a campground over there somewhere that we could have stayed at I think that's what he was trying to tell me there's a really nice campground but we've been doing our best to avoid campgrounds as much as possible and uh, which is the purpose behind the van obviously is for to be able to just boondock and be able to just go anywhere we want and pull over and sleep if we need to. This is just beautiful. It disappeared. Super cool. We just spotted our first bald eagle sighting in Washington. Unfortunately, I couldn't get the camera out in time. But he just flew right across the lake and it was amazing. Wow, that was very cool. All right, kiddo. Well, what do you say we... Uh, Get moving to the next spot. Yeah. Oh. Which the, I think the next spot is going to Port. Port Angeles. No, not Port Angeles. We're gonna go past Port Angeles. Oh. Port Townsend. Port Townsend. Port Townsend. That's the one. Port Townsend is where we're heading. So, um, I think then, that's the spot, anyways, for tonight. We'll figure it out. Alright, so I'll walk you up to where we stayed last night. See, there's the van right there. Sure, everything is secure. Everything's cleaned up and ready to roll. Yep. Beds are made. Everything is put away. All right. Oh, let's get to moving. Let's head to Port Townsend, guys. Off to Port Townsend. We'll see you guys in a bit. 